Hi there, my name is Eko Moliterno. I'm the Chief Creative Officer for Accenture Interactive in Latin America, and I'll be exploring here the theme, Your Brand is My Experience. And I will share with you a couple of predictions that I believe will be key for the consumer experiences in the near future. First, I will talk about the heartbeat and how it will soon become the ultimate personalization tool for the brands. Second, I'll speak about the five senses and how we have to use all of them and not only two of them to create more engagement with our audiences, to build better experiences for them. Is Lions Live? But before we start, let me ask you something. Please, close your eyes and listen to this sound. I don't even have to explain to you what this sound is, because no matter where you come from, what is your religion and what are your beliefs, you immediately recognize it. It is the voice of this involuntary muscle that we all have inside our chests, that don't depend on us to work 24-7. And it is the first sound that everyone makes, even before we are born. So that's why it's called the sound of life. It is the most powerful form of communication between two human beings. And it has always been like this. For example, when we look at the medieval paintings, we usually see Mother Mary holding baby Jesus close to her chest, because then he can still listen to her heart. And many moms still keep doing this today, but now on an evolved way, by playing 10 hours of heartbeats on YouTube to help their babies fall asleep. But there's another sound that is also related to the heart that everyone understands. The sound of death. And that's why the heartbeat is the most universal language and soon it will become the ultimate personalization tool for brands. But first, let's have a look at the evolution of personalization that started many, many years ago with the fingerprints that we still keep using nowadays for opening doors on ATMs and everything. But the systems of recognition, they keep evolving. And today there are new ways of identifying who you are based on your body. Let's see this. The fingerprint started as the analogic form of personalization. And in many countries, it is still used as the only way for illiterate people to sign documents, for example. Today, we are in the visual era in which smartphones and digital systems can also recognize us the same way humans recognize each other, by looking at our faces. But until now, both of them still demand an action you have either to place your finger over a sensor or to look at a camera. And the next step will not demand any kind of action from us because machines will recognize who we are through our heartbeats, bringing a personalization to another level, the cognitive level. And it's already changing the way hospitals take care of the patient's data. Researchers at the State University of New York develop a way of turning the heartbeats into a form of identification for medical records. They found out that while the peaks and valleys of people's ECGs may look identical to the untrained eye, they are actually different for every single person and can be the ultimate and indefectible password for everyone. And that is the big bet for companies like the Canadian startup Naimi, a spin-off of the University of Toronto that created this wearable device that you put once a day, it measures your heartbeat, it confirms that you are wearing it, and then it's able to communicate to whatever system or service you use. So they are hoping that this wristband could replace things like car keys, house keys, credit cards, and even boarding passes.
Security companies like Ensco are already using it for security inspection systems that detect the human presence inside vehicles or containers by sensing the vibrations caused by the heartbeats. Now there's a technology that can discover a human presence in any vehicle without a physical search. It's called microsearch. Microsearch uses seismic sensors so responsive they can detect the vibrations of a beating human heart. Magnetic sensors attach to the vehicle, while others are placed on the ground to eliminate vibrations from the surrounding environment. Patented software decodes the sensor data and alerts the operator if anyone remains on board. And the MIT team even suggests that in the future, our smart homes may well be capable of passively monitoring us without the need to attach sensors to ourselves. They developed a wireless sensing technology called Vital Radio that can be implanted in the walls to ambiently monitor breathing and heart rate to keep track of inhabitants' health in real time. So our homes will monitor our vital signs in a totally non-intrusive manner. Because the human body is a sensitive machine with five inputs. These five inputs, they are also known as the five senses. The touch, the sight, the hearing, the taste and the smell. That together operate in two different levels of perception. Let's see how. Above, you have the exteroception, which is sensed in the outside world, and this occurs through the five senses and happens on the brain. Below, you have the interoception, that is sensed in your inside world, and it happens on our internal organs, including our heart. And now, more than ever, brands have to learn how to balance vertically the rational and the emotional sides. In other words, more they just make people understand what they say, now they have to make people feel what they want. Because whenever we make people feel something before understanding it, then they will have a human experience that will be much more memorable than any kind of communication. And the more senses we evolve on it, the more memorable it will be. That's, for example, what the chefs realized some years ago. Gastronomy before used it to involve only two of our senses, the taste and the smell. But going today to a restaurant is a much more powerful experience. Now you touch the food in a different way, you take photos of it to post on Instagram, and the chefs now have even their own TV shows and podcasts for those who want to watch and listen to what they are cooking, and not only eating and smelling the food they are preparing. On the other hand, advertising has always been part of the audiovisual industry, which means that in general, we use only two of our senses, the sight and the hearing. So now we have to learn with the chefs on how to start playing more with the other senses. And if we combine them with the heartbeats, then we can leverage our industry in terms of finding new ways to distribute content. And that's, for example, what the Grammy-nominated songwriter and visual artist Jay Views did on his project Almost Forgot. He managed to create the first ever music video controlled by your heartbeat. My new single, Almost Forgot, has a music video that you play with your heart. I wanted to be able to let the listener create their own version of the song using only their heartbeat. By placing your finger on the back camera of the phone, we're able to detect slight changes in skin color. This allows us to use your heart as a metronome. It could be very mellow, resulting in a slower song and slower animations or upbeat if you're active, speeding up the song as it locks into your heart rate in real time. The video only comes to life when it detects your heart and the animations react to your heart as well. So then 
in the future, the personalization algorithm of streaming platforms may evolve to something like this. Today, when we look at an image like this, we understand that the content on the right had two times more likes than the content on the left. That is an opinion rate. But when we add the audience heartbeats data on the top of that, it goes to a completely different dimension. And now it means that the content on the left calms down those who watch it, while the content on the right energizes us. So in the future, our heart will rate the content that we watch. And then the brands will be able to generate personalized experiences accordingly to the audience moods. And that's why from now on, you have to put the heart at the heart of everything you do. So to sum up, my piece of advice for you is go create experiences that will be loved by others' hearts. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, you can find me on any social media.